Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you about penation angle and how it affects the force generating capacity of a muscle. Um, so what is the penation angle? We're referring to the angle between the longitudinal axis of the entire muscle and its fibers. So when we talk about the longitudinal axis, what we mean is a straight line really from insertion to insertion of that muscle. Um, so it's the line of pull of that muscle. So if we have a tendon inserting in one place on one end and a tendon inserting on in another place on the other end, if we draw a straight line from tendon to tendon, that's the line of pull of the muscle. And that's what we refer to as the longitudinal axis of the muscle. Uh, that doesn't mean that the muscle fibers are going in that same direction. In some cases, they are. So like in this picture here, that's where we have the muscle fibers that are aligned in the same direction as the longitudinal axis of the muscle. But in many cases, in pennate muscles, uh, that's where we have muscle fibers that are oriented at an angle relative to the longitudinal axis of the entire muscle. So the penation angle is the angle that is formed between that long axis and the direction of the muscle fibers themselves. So why does it matter? Why do we care about the penation angle? Well, the lower the penation angle is, uh, the less capacity that muscle will have to generate force compared to a muscle with a greater penation angle. It also means that that muscle will have a greater excursion. So when we talk about excursion of the muscle, we're talking about uh, the capacity for that muscle or its fibers to shorten or lengthen. So a muscle that has the fibers going in the same direction as the longitudinal axis is going to have a greater, it's going to have longer fibers to begin with, but that's going to mean that it has a greater capacity to shorten and to lengthen to a greater extent compared to a muscle that has fibers with a greater penation angle, those fibers are going to be shorter. And that means that the muscle and the fibers will have a short, less excursion. So less ability to shorten and lengthen because shorter fibers aren't going to be able to change in length to nearly the degree that longer fibers will. But if we have a muscle that has a greater penation angle, that means that we're able to pack in a greater number of fibers in the same space that is taken up by the muscle compared to if those fibers were going in the same direction as the longitudinal axis. So although the fibers are shorter, there are many more of them and more fibers is going to mean a much greater capacity to generate force. So the difference is when we have a muscle where the fibers are, where the penation angle is essentially zero, the fibers are going in the same direction as the longitudinal axis, then we're gonna get greater excursion, greater range of motion of that muscle, but with less capacity to generate force. Compared to a muscle that has a much greater penation angle, we're able to pack in many more muscle fibers into the same space, uh, so that's going to be at the expense of excursion, which is going to translate to uh, less range of motion, um, but we're going to be able to produce a significantly greater amount of force because we have so many of those shorter fibers packed into the same space. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.